Hi everyone, Jack here, and welcome to this video on the Facebook catalog. Both Facebook and Instagram have been pushing to make shopping features more prevalent on their platforms. On Facebook, you can add a shop tab to your page for your audience to browse, and Instagram have tagging features that links people straight through to your product pages without having to go through the link in your bio. These are both huge opportunities to get your products in front of the right audience and increase conversions through social media. But you need a way to manage your stock across platforms and con convey the correct information to your audience at all times. You can connect your Create Store to a Facebook catalog in order to do this. Our feeds will keep all your social media product listings updated at all times so you can focus on promoting your items rather than having to continually update them. I'm going to walk you through how to set this up now. Before you get started, you will need to make sure your product listings are completed with the following data. On your product information tab in the product editor, you will need to have specified a title, product description, the condition of your product and a price. On the product identifiers tab, you will need to have defined a brand. This can be your business name or the brand of your product. And you will have also needed to specify the Google category that best fits your product. In addition, you will also need to have a product image that is at least 600 by 600 pixels wide and of a reasonably high quality. Okay, so to get started, you'll need to open your Facebook Business Manager. Head to the hamburger menu in the top left and select Catalog Manager. You will then need to click Create Catalog in the top right here. We've now got to go through some initial settings for your catalog. Select e-commerce and click next. You can leave this option selected, but make sure that the catalog owner is the business profile you would expect and give your catalog a memorable name. When you're done, click create. So that is the end of those configurations. Head to view catalog to get started on the next stage of the process. Now, there are some details you will want to bring across from Create to your Facebook Business Manager, so make sure you have your dashboard open in another tab. When you're on Create, select Shop, Product Promotion, and Facebook Catalog. Here, you'll have two feed URLs that Facebook can use to pull data from your Create Store to your Facebook Catalog. Let's head back to Facebook Business Manager. To set up your first feed, select Add Data Source on the right hand side here. We'll be using a bulk upload to do this. Select Scheduled Feed and you'll need to take your first feed URL and paste it in here. Now we strongly recommend applying the following settings here for the best performance. The two feeds from Create complement each other to keep your catalog updated regularly and these are the settings they have been configured for. Set your update schedule to daily. Set a time where you're unlikely to be making changes to your website and switch off add automatic updates as Create will do this for you. Click next when you're done. Finally, give your data source a name and select your currency. Click upload when you're done. Now you'll need to set up your second feed. To do this, click the settings tab here, scroll down to update schedule, leave the frequency and time as they are, but you'll need to paste your second URL here. When you've done so, click save. You will have now completed the setup for your first Facebook catalog. You can see all of your uploaded products in this tab here. So, with your Facebook catalog set up, you can now go right ahead with setting up your Facebook shop and applying for Instagram shopping. There's also scope to create dynamic product advertisements that will show collections of products based on what your website visitors have shown interest in. You will have needed to set up the Facebook pixel in order to do this. We'll cover all these topics in other videos, but for now, to stay up to date with our videos, make sure to hit the subscribe button below, and if you found this video helpful, please help us out by giving this video a like as well. Thanks for watching.